a journalist, historian, and, and uh, a lover of music. Well, the combination of, of my three uh, parts of the background, I'm a historian, I studied history, uh, I'm a journalist, I work for the Volkskrant, uh, about, uh, write about theatre, uh, and I love music. And uh, one of my favourite parts of the world is the Caribbean. So if you combine these things together, then there's just one thing to do, write a book about the Worski uh, generations. Tonight the music, of course, is uh, the most important uh, uh, thing. Talking about three generations of, uh, of voice keys. The first generation uh, uh, came to Holland, and we're talking about Max Wojcicki Sr. in 36. A real musician, right from his childbirth, actually. Uh, Max Wojcicki Sr. was a musician, and he played this little flute called flageolet. I have to admit, after a couple of minutes, you may get a little bit nervous because of the high tone, but he was a genius uh, with it. He was really, really a good player. Also played saxophone, uh, by the way. And he made his uh, name and fame, and after the Second World War, he invited his son, Max Wojcicki uh, uh, Jr., um, one of his many kids, actually, that uh, junior, uh, senior uh, had. He was a guitar player. He came to Holland, joined the band of his uh, father. Um, the relation wasn't always that perfect, but he was a good teacher. I mean, uh, 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 senior taught him, you know, his, his, his to, to find his way in the music world. Uh, in '57, uh, Max Wojcicki senior he left. He uh, needed a more ne needed more sunshine. Uh, he didn't want to go back to Suriname, but he needed more sunshine. So he went to Spain to Mallorca. He opened a bar there, a bar in the club, La Cubana, and Junior, he continued his career in, in Holland, and he became famous. He, he really became famous with uh, very lively, nice songs. Je bent nog niet gelukkig met een mooie vrouw. Oh, Nederland, geef me reis met kouseband. Everybody knew these uh, songs. And um, uh, he passed on his musical genes to his daughter, Lils, Lils McIntosh, uh, uh, which is the official name actually, uh, because uh, Junior was uh, raised by Scott, a Scottishman in, uh, uh, in uh, Suriname. Uh, and Lils, well, not exactly the same Caribbean music, but just as talented as a father, as a grandfather, uh, uh, she continued her career in jazz. And well, we're gonna see her tonight uh, playing her father and grandfather's uh, music, but also her own music, jazz. <laughs> 